Good morning. <clears throat> Guten Morgen. Magendan umaga. Bonjour. So, I thought I would <clears throat> bring my camera out here onto my apple tree here. Now that the flowers are opening up. Um, I wanted to share a part of my testimony as a car drives by. <laughs> It's always a great moment. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> I wanted to share part of my testimony and I'm hoping that I'm, it's not too cringy for some of you who have um, uh, weaker stomachs. I shared this testimony before. <clears throat> the reason why I'm sharing this part of my testimony is that it baffles me when I hear people speaking about lacking faith with things that, you know, in my personal opinion, I think are, um, it's a little silly. <clears throat> and I'm not judging them, I'm just saying that some of the things that I hear, it makes it apparent to me that they definitely don't have His Holy Spirit. And I certainly don't have eyes to see. Because if you have eyes to see and you look over your testimony, your life, you can see the spiritual warfare <clears throat> your entire life. Your entire life, you are struggling with the Antichrist spirit. And my apologies if the wind is really loud on my mic. So... <clears throat> When I was, I don't know the exact number, but the Lord had me re recall this moment when I was a child, when I was between the ages of 10 and 12 years old. I was, <clears throat> um, I was a tomboy, for sure. Um, I always had holes in my knees most of the time. And, you know, was friends with the boys that were around my age and we used to climb trees and go on adventures etc play in the dirt rustle I used to beat up the boys actually <laughs> not like punching people but we'd wrestle in the grass and you know yeah I was I was full-on tomboy so one day I was climbing up in a tree with my friend John who lived up the street and it was fall so the the we had raked a small pile of old leaves it was like the end of fall because all the leaves were brown and crunchy and um, we we're up on a limb that was about five feet off the ground and I don't know who came up with the idea. I'm not sure if it was John or myself. But um, one of us thought it was a, would be an awesome idea if, if one of us could do a somersault going head first, landing in this pile of leaves. And, you know, obviously we were a couple of knuckleheads. And, you know, I mean, we were, we were children, not really thinking about any type of consequences. At that age, your brain's still developing, and <clears throat> you don't have any common sense. So, yeah, we were talking about it, and I always wanted to do the cool things as a kid, as a child. Like, oh yeah, it'd be so cool if I could go head first and do a somersault and land in these leaves. Like in my mind, you know, it's kind of like, I, I guess I watched way too many cartoons because in my mind, it seemed so simple that it played out like, it, it, you know, it, you know, that I could do this. <laughs> so, um, I'm telling you this because the spiritual warfare is in your mind every single day. 
what spirit do you think was telling me how cool it would be if I fell out of this tree head first, trying to do a somersault landing in these leaves? What spirit do you think was trying to convince me it was a good idea to do this? Do you think it was Christ's Holy Spirit? I don't think so. <laughs> so again, it's the spiritual warfare. And of course, the Antichrist spirit and my friend John. Sorry, I'm stretching out my knee. I was, <laughs> I'm getting old. <laughs> of course, the, you know, I was being egged on by my friend to do, to do it. Yeah, you should do it. Such a good idea. So I'm going to tell you, brothers and sisters, I fell out of this tree. When I say I fell, I dropped myself out with purpose and intention head first with the intent <clears throat> to do a somersault. Okay. To go head first, spin around, and land, I mean, if I landed on my tailbone, I could have hurt myself as well. Because I'm going to tell you something. This pile of leaves was not very big. And there was no resistance, no cushion. I hit the hard, cold, hard ground underneath. Head first, the, right at the top of my crown because I didn't spin around. I, I went head first, dove, fell five feet onto the ground. Now, if you've ever seen those uh, warnings not to dive head first in a shallow swimming pool, well, water would have been a heck of a lot more resistant resistance with my fall than nothing pile of crunchy leaves and I'm telling you this story because I should have been paralyzed I fell out of a five-foot tree <clears throat> head first my head the top of my head directly hit the ground I do have a slightly crooked spine because of it where I found out years later seeing a chiropractor <clears throat> that my spine is a little crooked but I walked away that day you know um, I saw stars like when I hit the ground I, I nearly blacked out I probably had um, a concussion as well but I walked away from that my dumbass <laughs> walked away from that and all glory to the Lord Jesus Christ because I should have been paralyzed that day. Imagine that such a innocent small moment in my life where two dumb children, you know, out of their own ignorance, that like I said, I was only around 10, 11, 12 years old. And, you know, both of us were latchkey kids. We didn't have a lot of adult guidance. We were kind of learning as we were doing. And a moment like that could have, my whole life could have changed in that moment where I could have been paralyzed for the rest of my life. But the Lord had mercy upon me and the Lord had other plans for me. And the Lord gave me eyes to see, to look back at that moment for me to know it's the Lord that the reason why I'm walking around today to be able to share this testimony with you. So when I hear others say they lack faith over things of, oh, well, if, if, if there's nothing on this piece of paper, you know, I'm going to lack faith. It, it really baffles me because it's like the Lord is in everything that you do and everything that you are and all the things that you went through today or in the past all the way up till today was for a purpose so you can share your testimony that glorifies the Lord 
So I hope I planted a good seed that every detail, every moment, the Lord's had mercy upon you, the Lord was with you, so there's no reason to lack faith. I love you, and God bless.